Everywhere we look, companies are trying to get us to buy something. Not because we need it, but because it looks good or it's cheap. Consuming so much is wrecking the planet. In 2015, we sent 10 million tons of textiles to landfills in the U.S. That's the equivalent in weight to approximately 5 million cars, all of it in our landfills. And this is where you think, well, I don't throw my clothes in the garbage. I give it to people who need it or I recycle it. The problem is the clothes you bring here or here doesn't always end up where you think it does. a graveyard of unwanted clothes. This warehouse in Miami takes in 120,000 pounds of clothes a week. So let's do that car comparison again. That's the weight of 30 cars getting delivered here every week. People buy and uh, they give it away the, the, the clothing. They use it maybe one, two, three times and they buy the new clothing. You know, this is a big difference. This country is a big difference with other countries. Don Juan buys the clothes that Goodwill and Salvation Army receive from donations but can't sell in their stores. He then sells it to countries in Latin America. In those countries, they got like a flea market and that's where they uh, sell the, the used clothing. Those flea markets look like this. Tons of unwanted clothes from developed nations like the U.S. getting resold for cheap. So I think it helped a lot of poor people in all of those countries that they can't afford to buy a new shirt for uh, maybe a 12, 13, 15 dollars, and they can buy a shirt for maybe a dollar, two dollars. That sounds good in theory, but poorer countries are getting flooded with our used clothes. So much that in 2015, East African countries like Kenya tried to ban secondhand clothes from their markets. They said the influx of cheap clothes was destroying their local textile industry. But secondhand clothing is a multi-million dollar industry in the U.S. And in 2018, the Trump administration threatened the East African nations with tariffs if they stopped taking our used clothes. And most of them backed down. I think that the public highly misunderstands what donating your clothing is all about. If we continue to consume as much as we do, we're already flooding markets that don't need our clothing anymore. It may end up in the landfill as well. Outside of Don Juan's warehouse, we saw a dumpster filled to the brim with clothes, headed to a landfill. That's also where some of the clothes you think are getting recycled end up. Less than 1% of clothes are recycled into new garments. But there's little transparency about what companies do with the rest. Take Miami Beach, for example. They contract with a company called Charity Recycling to pick up used textiles. But no one knows what they do with them. Charity Recycling is not telling the city, even though their contract requires them to, and they won't tell us, even though we've been asking them for months. I think that the root of the problem is it's really mass consumption and mass production. You know what? I believe that the fashion industry take-make waste model has to change into a circular one. They make low-quality clothing that we wear once or twice and then it can fall apart. And then the consumer is buying it at such a low price that they don't really value it, and then they wear it once or twice, and it goes into the landfill. Don Juan doesn't fear running out of business anytime soon. I don't think so, then we will change our habit, you know, because uh, we live in this country and that's the way we've been raised and we learn, you know, this kind of life. But Forever 21 filed bankruptcy in October, and some say that was at least in part due to their inability to appeal to Gen Zers, Americans between the ages of 13 and 21. A study found that 94% of them believe companies should help address social and environmental issues. The question is whether companies and governments are listening.